Stressed out by the ongoing financial crisis, many of us may want to wind down our days with a relaxing glass of wine. But where should you be looking to find a quality red or white that won't hurt your wallet? Wine expert Josh Wesson has the answer. In challenging times, it's a good idea to be uh, aware of the fact that there's no direct relationship between the amount of money that you pay and the amount of pleasure that you receive when it comes to wine. Mr. Wesson has authored books on food and wine pairings and owns the store Best Sellers. The wine business is faring well in the sluggish economy. There hasn't been a drop-off in wine sales, but there has been a shift toward cheaper products. At a recent food and wine festival, Mr. Wesson led a wine tasting seminar aimed at showing participants that great tasting wines can be found at all price points. His tip for your best bet on a top-notch affordable wine? Try anything from Argentina. They make great wine. They make a lot of great wine. And relative to the dollar, the peso there is still undervalued. Other good quality cheap wines can be found from Portugal and Spain. And for good deals in the U.S.? If you uh, go to Washington State, you can find an incredible amount of $10 and under wine being made by very consistent producers like uh, Chateau St. Michel, Columbia Crest, Columbia Winery, Hogue, uh, wines that over-deliver on, on deliciousness and don't charge you in the process. So Wesson's advice for weathering the financial crisis is to just keep drinking. If you like wine, you don't have to stop drinking it simply because your 401k has dipped a bit. You can find all sorts of places to find wines that will allow you to continue to enjoy life. This is Michelle Wu for The Wall Street Journal.